Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part two of my list box move item series where we're moving items up and down in a list box using little uppy downy buttons. Today we're going to learn how to move items up and down in a bound list box. This is a list box that is bound to a table or query. In other words, it's getting its data from a table or query. Not to be confused with bound to a field in this form. All right, I mean that this is getting its data from a table or a query as opposed to what we did in part one, which was a value list box where we just type in the values in the list box and these don't come from anywhere. These are easy to shuffle around, right? We just move them up and down inside the box itself. So if you haven't watched this video yet, go watch it first and then come on back. But today we're going to deal with a list of items that are coming out of a table. So we have to actually change the values in the table as we move these things up and down. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay, here I am in the video that we built on Friday. And this is a value list box, right? You click on it, you can move the items down, you can move the items up, but this data only exists in this list box. It doesn't go anywhere, right? It's not bound to a table. So let's set up a table of items that we want to control the sort order of, right? Let's do employees, all right? So let's create an employee table, create table design. Yeah, I know I got other tables I could use, but we'll just make an employee table real quick. All right, we got our employee ID. That's our auto number. We've got the employee name, all right? Yeah, you could do first name, last name if you want. This is a simple example. And remember, again, we don't just use the word name as a field, right? Because that's a reserved word, it's special. Don't use name, all right? My main man, Alex, has been keeping a big, long list of reserved words to avoid in access. I got a video on this coming up soon. I'll put a link to this page down below. Here's my big no-no list. All right, these are the words to definitely avoid. Any of the ones that are in bold, seriously avoid them, like name, hour, image, format, minute, those kinds of things. Okay, now, the employee list is gonna to need to be sorted, right? Now you can sort by name if you want to, but that doesn't really give you the option to move things up and down in the list box, right? We wanna manually control the sort order. Can't go by ID because you, you can't really be sure of, you know, usually, usually auto numbers come in in order that the record is added to the table, but that's not always the case. It is possible to get items in an earlier auto number. A, it's a long story, but you can't rely on them basically. So we wanna control the sort order ourselves so we're gonna make our own sort order field and I'm gonna make that a number, okay? Let's save this as my employee T, my employee table, primary key. Yep, that's gonna be our auto number. Save it, we'll close this, close this, open her up, let's throw some data in it. Now, for this example, we're just gonna put the sort order in here manually for now. If you've got a big long list you know, a big table of existing records and you wanna put the sort order in there, well, you can do it yourself or you can uh, use an update query or any number of techniques to start the seed of the sort order. After this, after we put the initial list of records in, then we'll use our little form to change them. So let's do Kirk, he'll be zero. zero. We're gonna start with zero. You can start with one if you want to, but I figure zero is just as easy, right? We got Spock, he'll be one, we got McCoy, Two, we got Scotty, that'll be three, and Uhura will be. Five. Okay, so there's our employees. And yeah, I can already see the emails and the comments I'm gonna get about people who wanna take a list of existing like 500 employees and automatically add the start seating number. So sure, I'll put this on the list for another video. G give, me a, give me a couple days. <laughs> I'll put it on the list, all right? All right, so the table's all set. Let's save that, close it. Now let's put it on the main menu. Let's make some room here. We'll put it next to the other one. Right over here. Okay, let's grab a list box. Where are you? Right there. Now this one is going to be bound to a table. So we're going to get the values from a table or query next. I think the official terminology for access is a table query list box, but I think that sounds dumb. So I call it a bound list box. It's bound to a table. What table is it getting its data from? Employee T, of course, next. Now I'm gonna bring over all three fields, but I'm gonna hide the employee ID and the sort order. I don't wanna see them. So I'm gonna bring employee over first, then I'm gonna bring the sort order over next, and then last I'll bring over the 
employee name because that's going to be the only visible field. We don't need to see the sort order, right? Next, what field do you want to sort by? Well, duh, sort order. Next, this is what it looks like in the list box right now. The key column is hidden. We're going to keep hiding that. We're also going to hide this column. How do we do that? Well, we grab the border right there. We drag it all the way to zero. If you're not sure, don't leave a little tiny bit there. Sometimes people do that. They can't understand why stuff isn't working because you can still kind of see it. Just take it and go past the beginning like there. And then now you're definitely sure it's zero length. All right, resize that if you want to. Next, what label do you want? Doesn't matter. We're going to delete it anyways and hit finish. All right, there's the label. Delete. All right. Save the main menu, close it. I'm going to open it back up again, and there we go. And it's sorted in our sort order. Okay? Okay. Let's go back to design view. Let's open this guy's properties up, and let's give it a good name. List 21 is not a good name. Employee list, we'll call it. And I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. Slide you guys over just a little bit. Okay. Now I need up and down buttons. I'm gonna just copy these ones, copy, paste, and we'll slide them over here. All right, now these guys are named up button and down button. So let's just call this one up button two, up button two, and this guy can be down button two. Down button two, or down two button, well, it doesn't matter. I just recommend you don't start any field names with a number, putting, putting up, Putting a number on the end is not a big deal. Starting with it, it adds some problems to your VBA code. Just, just trust me. I don't feel like explaining it right now. Just trust me. <laughs> okay, we're ready to start the code. The tough part, the stuff that goes in the buttons, we're going to do that in tomorrow's lesson. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because members get to watch all the stuff as soon as it's posted. And I'm going to be posting it in about five minutes. But the rest of you, you can tune back tomorrow. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part three. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. 
<laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.